Hi, back in the 70s my granddad built a house in the middle of the Catalan countryside. It had no tap water so his idea was to pump it from a nearby stream. So the water had to be pumped from the stream to a 16 cubic meter concrete deposit back in the house. The height difference is about 61 meters and the pipe is estimated to be 800 meters long. The path to the stream was flooded and very muddy, so a wheelbarrow was used to carry all the needed stuff. So I left the car here and walked with the wheelbarrow all the way to where the pump was. Here you can have a closer look at the shed where the pump and the diesel engine is located. You can see that nature has been taking over. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Here you can have a first glance at the multi-state centrifugal pump and this is the Lombardini one-cylinder 325cc uh, engine. Thanks to the help of a dear friend, we carried the engine to the house and we tested it on the bench. This engine vibrates a lot due to the torque it generates, so some silent blocks were definitely a must. Here you can have a closer look at the water pump. It's a Delul multibars rated at 6 horsepower. The body is made of cast iron while the rotating parts are made of brass. First thing I did was mount the engine and the water pump on these very large silent blocks. This was to prevent the vibration from getting the nuts and bolts loose as it had happened before. But obviously those silent blocks had risen the whole setup about 60 millimeters, so now I had to make the holes bigger to accommodate the intake and the outlet pipe. So here you can see the hole for the inlet water pipe, and here you can see I also had to make the hole bigger for the outlet. After this was done, and I went ahead and bolted both pipes to the pump with the help of some uh, silicone sealant. So the next step was to get the diesel tank in place and get ready to start the engine. Uh, but without linking it to the water pump, just to make sure it was running properly and that the vibrations were mitigated with these massive silent blocks. This engine has no decompressor, so it's pretty hard to start it manually when it's cold. The starter solenoid was broken, so I came up with this solution temporarily uh, to engage and disengage the, the starter motor. So this is how it works, just a lever and then you just pull it and it it, it works. And here you can see a test uh, running. Uh, most of the time it just auto disengages when the engine is running. So this is the throttle, just a string. When you push it, the engine decelerates and you let loose, the engine accelerates. To come to a full stop, you just need to push a bit harder. It's effective, it will work for now. Then you can just tie this to these uh, two pieces of metal and get the job done. And here you have it, the engine running in place uh, with those new silent blocks that are doing a pretty good job mitigating those vibrations. And the next step will be to link it, link the engine to the water pump, fill it with water and see if this thing pumps any water at all. So uh, please uh, stay tuned and see you next time.